Now, for all intents and purposes, Canada shouldn't exist. We've overcome three hostile invasions, two world wars, and the Spanish Plague. Now, on this continent of ours less than 300 years ago, there were some British guys as well as some French guys. The British guys didn't really like the French guys, and that sliced both ways. Now, one day the French guys said, let's screw it, and left. Now we've only got British guys. Now, most of those British guys were a bunch of anti-monarchists who decided that they didn't want to be part of Britain anymore. So, they separated. But some of them were smart and stayed with Britain. Canada. Now, one day the guys who felt no more attachment to the Brits decided enough was enough. They wanted a revolution. So, they got a bunch of tea together and threw it in a river. Because the least British thing to do is care about tea. This cost them half a million dollars. They had to make that money back somehow, so they went to Africa, kidnapped a million black people, came back with them, and invented slavery and capitalism in the process. Well, this made them the richest country on earth. So, four white, rich slave owners decided to get together one day and write a paper about equality and freedom called the Declaration of Independence, saying that every man should be free. Unfortunately, Benjamin Franklin sneezed and the part about it only applies to white men between 18 and 65 was edited and slavery continued. Meanwhile, Canadians invented penicillin.